Okay, now watch this video and tell me about the mood in this video. Now this one. And it's pretty easy to note that the first one had happy mood while second one had some dull or sad mood. You might have noticed this at many places like movies and all. And we can do this by color correction. However, in this video, I'll be focusing more on color curves. But if you want me to make a basic video, then do let me know in the comments. When you color correct or color grade, it is like you're kind of focusing to show the certain details of your photo or video that audience should notice more clearly. Like for example, if you're enhancing the dark colors, it means that mood of the photo or video is kind of dull or sad. While if you're using bright colors, it means you're trying to show the mood is happy or bright. So you must think relatively about what you're trying to show and express it in colors. Okay, so I think now you may have got a basic idea about what color correction is and what you shall think about before or while doing it. Okay, okay, okay. So now let's start the video. Color curves. This is a color curve. Yes, I know. It is simply a straight line on a graph, but it's a color curve. And this is what it is. If you're wondering what app this is, so this app is Filmora 11. You may know about it. Here we are gonna learn color curves. So first things first, download the app from link in description and come back. And also create a new project and import the files beforehand. Okay, so if you have come back, so let's start. Now drag your clip into the timeline and right click the clip or video track and then select color correction a new advanced color correction window will pop up these are the presets that you can use anytime for your clips something like this however let's jump into the adjust section and this is what we are going to learn in this these are some tools that you can use to color correct but for this video i talk about color curves more specifically so down you will find curve section, you can click over it if it is not activated already. Then this is the violet curve which is for brightness as you go up and darkness as you go down. And you can also adjust contrast by making the popular S curve which I will be talking about in the later part of the video. Also using this you can create a negative effect in your video. The next is our letter curve which is for red color regions. It can adjust highlight, shadows, and mid-tone of that particular color. The same goes with green and blue. The upper side of this curve is for highlights, means brighter colors. The lower side is for shadows, means for darker parts. And middle is for mid-tones, something like this. Okay, so since we have this footage, let's first add contrast to it by using the S curve here. For that, drag a point of white curve here like this for increasing highlights and a point downwards to decrease the shadows or making it a little darker something like this don't worry to play with it but also don't try to overgrade it as it won't look natural and then you have just made the famous S curve in color correction so now let's move ahead on the red color curve where we can adjust the highlights and shadows of red color particularly I'll increase the highlight so that it looks kind of sunset imagery. I think this is pretty better. Next one we'll talk about green color curve using which you can increase this greenery here. Now it's turn of blue color. Using blue color, you can make it look a little cool, something like that. You can also use this color pickle tool, eyedropper tool as said by many. You can click over it and see what is the position of that particular color in the curve. You can also adjust all these other tools, which if you want, I'll talk in the basics video. At last, we can save it as a custom preset, like for example, sun such preset and click on OK so that you can use it in further video projects or photos that you want to color correct click on ok and done if you go to color correction again and see in the preset section you will find your own custom preset here you can see the before and after of your color corrected picture or video like this was 
something that looked before and now it looks something like this. You can even adjust it now while viewing the before scene. And at last we can also export our video. However, if you are using the free version of Filmora 11, then a watermark will appear. And if you don't want it to appear, you have to purchase it. And for that, you can go to the link in the description. At last, if you found this video helpful, something new or interesting, do hit the like button, share and subscribe. Also write down something in comments. And I'll meet you in the next video. Until then, thanks for watching. Bye.